I don't even really want a career. Here's what I want to do. I want to invent something one time that just kills it all. You know what I'm saying? And just don't have to worry. I can, you know, do my Tuesday night shows at coffee shops <laughs> and not have a, a single worry in the world. And I'm like, what? All the good shit's been taken. And I started thinking about this the other day when I was picking up my dog's shit. I was like, what a brilliant invention. The poop bag. So simple. And the fact that you can hold a steaming pile of shit in your hand, but not quite in your hand, <laughs> is actually insane if you think about it, right? It's like, it's right there, it's two millimeters away from your hand. <laughs> but it's not on your hand, you can fucking put, put that shit down, and you can shake somebody's hand. You can smoke a cigarette. You can hush your loved one like, shh, right on the lips. And they don't know that you just had shit on your hands. <laughs> Because technically you did it. And that's a fucking awesome invention. I run in this say, I gotta fly next week to just book my tickets with uh, with Southwest. Flying sucks in general, obviously, for all the reasons, but uh, the Southwest is the worst. Because the way you check in, the way you're able to get your, your best seat on your plane, is you have to be there on the minute, 24 hours ahead of time, to be in that A group. Right? <laughs> Yeah. And I fucking hate that because it just leads to things. First of all, you show up and it just shows the type of person you are because you look at the A group and they're all standing there nice and eating. They got their fucking <laughs> coffee and shit. And like, I checked in it one second after. <laughs> A1. And then the B group's kind of like, oh, we hate you A people. We were like a couple minutes in. And then people in C are the people that are being like, I'm flying today. I'm half drunk from spending money I shouldn't have spent at a fucking airport bar. <laughs> like eating McDonald's, which is another great choice. Like scratch my ass. So it's so good to get on. <laughs> But this is why I hate Southwest, because everybody gets on, right? And then you get on and see. And all it is is fucking a plane full of people sitting in the aisle and middle seat staring at you like, please don't sit here. Please don't sit here. And it's like, are you retarded because they said it's a full flight, so are you just hoping that the person that was going to sit next to you had a heart attack in the bathroom? Because the reality is, someone's going to sit next to you. My wife's a, uh, my wife's what I like to call Minnesota mom. She messes up words a lot and shit. The funniest thing she ever did, uh, she was at a bar talking with a friend about what she, they were trading information about what shows they need to watch. And it was a loud bar in her defense. <laughs> <laughs> but she was also drunk. <laughs> and I came in and she pulled me down. She said, babe, remember this. We need to watch Battle Shark Antarctica. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Battlestar Galactica? No, Battleshark Antarctica. And all I could think to myself was, that sounds like a fucking billion times better show than Battlestar. <laughs> I watched the shit out of some Battleshark Antarctica. <laughs> I wish we could have been around in times when they were naming things. You know, like, whoa picture why I don't know it's just what it is you know <laughs> but there was a point there was a barrier when we ran out of shit for just regular words and we needed to start using people's names right and I'm like what was that like the first guy that invented the lazy Susan explaining that one right I guarantee you got divorced and like, well why do you call it the lazy Susan well my wife's lazy as fuck she won't even race across the table to get the goddamn pepper <laughs> And I figured I'd honor her with this invention. The Lazy Susan. People probably got spiteful about it, you know? They're like, I gotta use the toilet. I'm tired of calling it toilets and I fucking hate John. Go use the John. Adam, what's that weird thing on your throat? Uh. my apple. Look at Adam's apple. It's huge. Driving drunk is bad, that's for sure, obviously, and I have to say that as a disclaimer. But driving sober with someone who's super drunk in your car, I think is even worse. <laughs> My wife and I, we trade off, you know, drinking and driving. Not like at the same time. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> no, like she'll drive me when I'm driving. And like it is the scariest thing being a car with someone who's wasted because they're loud, they're obnoxious, they're touching shit, they're like trying to fuck with you, you know what I mean? My wife is just sitting there in dead silence with it, whatever you want. It's kind of nice drive actually. And all of a sudden she goes, ah! like, oh my god, what? I snap on the brakes, she's like, I love this song. <laughs> I was like, did Britney Spears come on the radio and almost just kill me? I literally almost died from pop music. Has anybody here ever uh, joined the Mile High Club? No. Does it count for masturbating? <laughs> we got lots of Mile Highers in here today. How do people even join the Mile High Club? Has anybody gone into a bathroom? ever on a plane and seeing how goddamn small it is. I was in there joining the Mile High Club and standing. Why wasn't I sitting? Because when I sit, I think I have to poop and that's when shit gets really interesting. <laughs> so I'm standing with a Kleenex full of my children, pretty much evaporating this air, airplane Kleenex. <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, how do people even get in here? You have to be a midget or you have to already be inside the person before you went in the bathroom. <laughs> And I hope I see that someday, just two people like, all right, we're going for it, guys. Don't mind us. <laughs> My name's Justin Schilbert. You guys are phenomenal. Give it up for Zara. Keep it going, everybody. Show some love.